So then the question is, so if my hand is just holding and I've got basic finger hand and forearm alignment, how do I go down and up? And that movement comes from the forearm moving left and right. And when we say forearm, we're talking specifically about putting the thinking in this little piece here. So if you stand in front of a mirror when you're trying to work on this and you really look at that spot, you can really feel how that bow stroke starts in the forearm. So here's the finger hand and forearm unit. And then I'm gonna think from under here. So the bow stroke is starting in here. So the next question is, how do I, if I want to go to the tip, how do I get to the tip and the heel without feeling that the tip is weak and the heel is heavy? And this we solve by maintaining the relationship of the arm to the body, which means just like when I throw a Frisbee, um, hit a t use a tennis racket, give you a cup of coffee, whatever it is, my body is going to resonate in the same direction as my arm. So if I want to open my arm out here, my body, in particular, this area under the shoulder rest, which is soft and that blind spot that we talked about, is going to be resonating with that forearm movement. Now, if I fix it, I'm stuck because my arm is isolated from my body, and my hand is isolated from my arm, and then I'm gonna press. So I'm going to allow the body to resonate with the mo movement in the forearm. So this allows me to have the same relationship at, uh, um, at the tip and at the heel.